what's going on turner fishing welcome back to my channel so it's that time of year guys slowly approaching us in the south is it's time for the crappy spawn so in today's video we're going to deep dive into what the crappy spawn is when to start looking for it and how to fish it and what colors to use stay tuned guys the first thing that we're going to talk about obviously the age old question when are the crappy going to spawn steven and honestly it all comes down to water temperature being a key for one thing you want 56 degree to 60 degree water temp and that's when you should start looking up shallow now i'm not saying you drop your boat in the water put your trolling motor in oh man it's 56 steven said go look for them but i am saying that at the same time because Black crappie especially push up way before white crappie. And down here in the south is mostly black crappie. So that's majority what I'm going to be talking about with the white crappie follow. And it's still kind of the same deal. So 56 degree water temp to 62. Now, me personally, I like to look around, you know, 58 to 60 degree water temp. But you don't want to miss them. Like if you go out and you look for them and you don't find them just run back to your brush piles in 15 to 20 foot of water and you should do fine for the day of fishing so another key factor with the temperature is your nights a lot of it revolves around when you have consecutive nighttime temperatures that's what's really going to rise your water temperature so if you have a 75 80 degree day but it drops to the 50s or you know high 40s at night it's not really increasing the water temperature as fast as say you get four or five consecutive 60 degree nighttime weather now if you can look it up when you know around march to april when they should be spawning pretty much around the country except up north with you guys with the ice and if you can find where you've got a whole week of nighttime temperatures that are, are higher than normal that's when i would let three four days of that go through and i'm headed to the bank if i get four or five nights of 60 degrees I'm going to the bank so that's about you know a general idea of when crappy are going to spawn now once you know you you understand they're in the spawn what do they do all right so generally the males move up first in the crappy spawn the males will move up you know they will be tight to structure tight to this you know this and that and they're going to get up there just like a bass or any other panfish they're going to make a bed which is called fanning the crappy is going to fan to make a bed all right after the crappy fans makes the bed the female is normally you know not very far away from these male fish keep that in mind for the rest of this video the males push up to make the bed the females are not very far away from them so the males make the bed females push up with them they do the the happy happy the happy 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 and then the female produces probably 120,000 eggs since we got all these people saying live scopes hurting the, the fish population now you know not not all the eggs are going to survive but the majority of them you know you've got so many female crappy doing this in your lake like just think of the number of crappy i can count off the top of my head 20 docks down on lake murray right now that's probably got 400 crappy on them so all those crappy lay 120,000 eggs the fishery's doing fine anyways a little, a little off subject so they're going to do their thing and then the female is going to push out and she's going to recuperate and the male is going to stay up here where they spawn and defend the fry until they're big enough to part ways and that's the general idea of a crappy spawn the male pushes up the female follows they do the happy happy the female leaves the male stays to guard the fry and you know they just leave and then the little fry grows up to be a hee-haw but so that that's the crappy spawn now where do we go like, if I'm going out there right now on the lake, what if it was a March and I was targeting them, where do we go? You literally want to go down the bank and you want to find... Okay, okay. 
That, that, that would be the easiest explanation you can give. I, I got to go in detail. North wind. You ever heard of it? North wind is what? I'll give you a couple seconds. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button while, while we're thinking about this. And be sure to subscribe because this knowledge is free. The subscription down below is free also. Unless you're going to become a member, which you can do down below too. Just throwing that out there. North wind is always the coldest wind most of the time. And if you can find a pocket with a lot of heavy cover on your lake that is protected from the north wind. That means when you have high north winds, this pocket stays pretty much calm. Those are the best pockets to target, especially early. Early in the spawn, the best pockets to target are pockets protected from the north wind. Why, Stephen? Why? Because the north wind is colder, thus, these pockets are protected from the north wind. They're going to heat up to the 60 degree mark faster. Da -da. Also, dingy water, dingy water plays an effect this time of year. You have, you know, all your spring rains, all that. Muddy water does warm up faster than clear water. So keep that in mind. If half your lake is muddy... The other half is clear. The muddy lake is going to be warmer than the clear lake. Why does that happen? Because the settlement at the top, black attracts the sun, and the water heats up, just for a general idea. So, we know what the crappy do in the spawn. We know they go up there to do the happy happy. And then they leave and the, the fish. So how do you target? You go out there, you find pockets north. Protected from the north wind or just pockets in general with a lot of heavy cover Now once you get out there you find these pockets you find this heavy cover. What do you do? All right, so At the beginning of the spawn. This is key guys. Make sure you listen to this At the beginning of the spawn if you are hunting the bigger females of the two pounders the three pounders if you're catching male fish off structure, but you're not catching female fish, you can tell them apart this time of year. Most of the time, the male fish are going to be really, really black. But if you're not catching female, go out about six foot and go out about 12 foot away from the structure and start fishing. Use your electronics. See if you can find schools of fish out from the structure. That's the females getting ready to push up. Now, during this whole period, these fish are hyper-aggressive. And when I mean hyper-aggressive, crappy fishing has a, a thing called a thump. Now, 90% of the year, it's a thump. During the spawn, it's a thump. If you don't believe me, get out there and try it this spring. <coughs> Excuse me. So, if you're only catching males and you want to catch the bigger females, if you don't see fry in the area, please just get away from the cover for a little bit a way to target these fish once you've you know got a general area that you want to fish that you want to try that has a lot of heavy cover or just cover in general that's sparse and one to five foot of water that's what we're looking for is just trees and stumps and bushes just any anything to protect these crappy you get out there you get your long pole and you want I'll tell y'all a secret. You want the brightest, the most nauseous color you can think of. You go out there, you hit them with a paint stinker. <coughs> Excuse me. A pink manner. What other obnoxious color? You got toad. I mean, that is just an ugly color. I'm trying to think if I got anything else. That's just, you want the brightest color you can get. You will, And don't forget, Crappy Man Green. It's going gonna, it gonna to put them in the boat this spring. Everybody that's been buying them, getting loaded up for spring, please send me some pictures of the slabs you catch. But in all serious, guys, you get out there, you want the brightest jig you have in your box. You want... You know, the most obnoxious color. I'm talking bright pinks, bright oranges. Anything like that. 
Now, generally when you're fishing with your bright lures, you're going to be targeting the male fish. The spawn is almost always targeting the male fish. Why? Because these male fish are down there to kill anything that comes between them and their fry. You drop a pink lure down, it's very visible to this black, uh, to this male crappy. And he's going to come up there and kill it. He's not trying to eat it. So it's not one of those thump, well, well boom, I missed him. What happened? You've got to pull the trigger. When you feel that initial, I mean, you're not going to miss it. This thing's going to hit you like a, a freight train. And you pull him in. Simple as that. You drop the most obnoxious color you can besides any cover you got with either a long jig pole, a corking jig, a slip bobber, any kind of tactics work. Even a beetle spin. Get out there with a beetle spin and throw it beside a cover. This question asked probably in the comments. So I'm going to go ahead and address this at the very end of the video. So you've got the whole spawn thing we talked about, you know, how to get up there, how they spawn, how to target them while they're spawning. And then, you know, well, what do they do after they spawn? And simply, you go in reverse. All year, we've been talking about how to target these fish in the winter, how to target them in the fall, how to target them in the summer. And pretty much, you look for pathways that they get back to their initial structure. If you're targeting a pocket that's way in the back of this cove, but you've been catching them on this brush pile that's out here on this point, go between them. Find a, a piece of structure between them. And if there's not any structure between their spawning area and the brush pile that you normally catch them on, they're just going to go straight to that brush pile unless the weather changes. Weather, like if you have a cold snap, during the spawn, they're not going to back up. You know, bass, crappy, anything. If they push up so far, they're not going back. They're just going to stay there until the weather gets right. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to drop a video about the spawn before it happens. Let y'all know what's coming. Get prepared for it. Get some bright colored jigs. Get some crappy man green colored jigs. And as always, get some crappy man jigs. <laughs> get out there and catch them, guys. Don't give up. If you can't find them on the bank, just go back out a little bit. Send me some pictures of them slabs. I'd like to see them.